Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and I'm back with a new tutorial on projection of lines and this is level 2 and it's problem number 5 and it goes like this. The top view of a 75 mm long line measures 65 mm while the length of its front view measures 50 mm. Its 1 and A is in the HP and 12 mm in front of the VP. Draw the projections of AB and find out its inclinations with HP and VP that is um, its overall projection has to be made and then finally after doing the projection part uh, we need to figure out uh, from the drawing itself as to how much the value of theta and phi are all right so we have this uh, line okay a true length of this line 75 millimeters whose top view appears as 65 millimeters so the top view length is um, 65 millimeters its true length is 75 millimeters and the length of its front view measures 50 millimeters okay front view length has been given to us as 50 millimeters its 1 and a is in the hp 1 and a is in the hp that means h is going to be 0 so this a dash is going to lie on xy line fine and then we have this uh, 12 mm in front of the vp so this end a also uh, lie, uh, lies at a distance of 12 mm in front of the vp so let's do this quickly so initially we're going to draw this xy line above which we have the vertical plane in which front view is going to happen and below this xy line we have this horizontal plane in which we have the top views now start off to start off we have this point and uh, this is going to be zero and this is going to be 12 mm below all right and we have this point as a dash this over here is a dash and this over here is simply a a dash and this is simply a all right now let us give this in, uh, some dimensions this is 12 all right next thing to do is to fix this front view length as 50 millimeters and top view length as 65 millimeters but we don't know as to with what angle uh, these front view and top view lengths are going to make all right so initially we're going to assume it parallel okay so the front view length is uh, how much it's 50 and top view length is 65 so this is going to be 50 all right so this is 50 and this is going to be b to dash and the top view length has been given to us as 65 so i'm going to draw a horizontal line of 65 millimeters and this is going to be b1 simply b1 next thing to do is to drop two vertical lines one in the downward direction i don't know how much length this is having okay you can randomly draw a line of any length it has to be vertical though and then in the upward direction over here all right now the time has arrived to use this that is 75 millimeter true length now with a dash as center and with 75 millimeter as the radius you need to put an arc over here okay and it should appear something like this i'm going to show you with a dash as center and with 75 as radius it intersects this vertical line somewhere here and this is what you call point b1 dash corresponding to this top view b1 we have here b1 dash and let's join b1 dash with a dash so here we have it the true length making a certain angle with the horizontal plane so i'll be figuring out as to how much the magnitude of those angles are but at the end all right now let's draw a locus line for point b in the front view and somewhere here we're going to have ourselves the final uh, top uh, final front view that is b dash and when you join b dash with a dash you have the final front view next thing to do is to again we need to take an arc and with a as center and with radius as 75 you'll put an arc over here it inter intersects this vertical line somewhere here and this is going to be point b2 okay corresponding to this b2 dash we have over here b2 let's join b2 with a and that's the true length and this is angle phi all right we'll discuss it a bit later and for now i'll be drawing a line this so-called locus line of b in top view uh, in order to locate the final top view all right 
we have the final front view we need to take a dash as the center and with a b2 as radius you need to rotate this line this way until it intersects this horizontal line somewhere here so finally we have this let's join this point with this one over here so this is what you call the final front view okay and this is b dash all right so this is final front view this is a dash b dash you can come down below it inter it would intersect this line somewhere here so you can write this as simply b okay or there is one more way by which you can reach b Uh, watch this carefully you can take a as center and with a b1 as radius all right you can move this in the clockwise direction and it will intersect here itself all right so this is also a method which you can use Let, let's join a with b so that we can have ourselves the final top view let me darken this okay fine now let us uh, discuss about the angles all right so this over here is the angle made by the line line with the uh, horizontal plane that is theta theta is equivalent to 30 degrees alpha that is the angle made by the front view of the line with x y is 48 and then we have this the angle that the line makes with the vertical plane we have this as 48 degrees and finally we have this the top view of the line making a certain angle with pp and that is working out as 59 degrees all right guys so these are the angles so guys uh, this that was all from my side and if you have any doubts write them down in the comment section i'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities and let us meet again with a new problem and with a new set of ideas keep drawing have fun thank you take care bye bye